So to start with, let's first discuss some of the Revit advantages. All of you might have heard about building information modeling. Now, what do you mean by BIM or building information modeling? This is a process in which you create models with real life information. So it's like a miniature model of the real building that you are modeling. In case you want to model the entire stuff as it is in the site, you can build that in Revit or some of the beam tools that are available in the industry so you can have the exact accurate information modeled so it's up to you to decide what level of information and what level of accuracy you want to incorporate in the model the tools and especially revit gives you the entire ability to do that so that is why it is called building information modeling and many students ask me what is the difference between bim or building information modeling and revit now BIM is a process and Revit is a tool to achieve process. You may have many products like Revit to achieve the same BIM but in a different way based on the features that you are having in that particular software. So that's a major difference. It's like you have a lot of CAD tools and AutoCAD is one of the many CAD tools. You also have ZWCAD and many other CAD tools which are used to achieve drawing production. You call the larger group as CAD and AutoCAD is a particular tool produced by Autodesk and ZWCAD is another product by another company. So it's like that. So both are CAD tools. It's since AutoCAD is very popular, we use AutoCAD, the term AutoCAD associated with the drawings. In fact, there are many other CAD tools as well. So that's the difference between BIM and Revit. BIM is a process, Revit is a tool to achieve that building information modeling. Now what are the main advantages? So, the, so there are many advantages of using Revit. One of it is parameter. Now to understand what is meant by parametric behavior, let me take you to one of the Revit models and explain it there. Now see this view. I have a view here associated with the top of footings and you can see a footing layout in this particular view now at the same time i have also drawn a section here and you can draw as many sections as you want in one shot now parametric behavior you can see here see i'm going to show you the section view here now if i delete a footing in this section view that will be automatically reflected in the plan view so there is no need for you to further modify your plan or any associated drawing if you are using revit or any of the building information modeling tool so in a conventional cad platform you will have to repeatedly change your drawings in in order to achieve accuracy so if you make a change in your plan you are supposed to make the change in the section drawing as well separately so there is a chance that you miss to do that and there is a discrepancy in your drawing you change the beam depth in the plan but you forget to change the beam depth in the sectional drawing so this involves a human error possibility when you do in CAD platform because both are two different drawings which are not linked together so one change made in one drawing does it mean that it will automatically come in the other drawing so in Revit everything is parametric so in case if you want to change the size of this particular foundation you can click on this and then go to edit type and then you can make this into 450 and then say ok and then go to the sectional view you can see that the thickness of this foundation alone got changed whereas this remains as 600 so now there is no need for you to come here in the section view and change the thickness as you do in your CAD platform so in your CAD platform you will have to repeatedly change the sectional drawing in case if you change the plan all the associated drawings will have to be manually changed and there is a good chance of a manual error happening in the process so that is ruled out with the parametric behavior Another good feature is that you can share your work among many people in Revit. Like you have a layering system in AutoCAD wherein you can have different layers to have different plans or different components. You can have different virtual layers for people to work on. So you can club many people's work together into virtual spaces and coordinate it and then have a single model made by many people working together so that's a beautiful concept which we will be discussing later here 
another important aspect is that you can schedule you can take out schedules in different ways and you can have information on the quantities of the elements another important feature is that interoperability of revit you can import export and link various tools into revit so you can you can import a cad drawing and overlay on that and model you can link a cad and overlay and model you can also link another revit and then work on that you can also link and coordinate your drawings between disciplines you can link an architect's model and a structural engineer's model and an MEP engineers model together and then coordinate one of the stakeholder initiator change then it can be detected because all these are linked together and as soon as someone initiates a change that can be captured by the other one since the models are linked so this will allow you to avoid aborty work you can also use this interlinking ability in Revit to detect clashes say in case a structural engineer wants a beam in one position and then at the same location in the slab say the MEP engineer wants a cut out so this information is early captured when you model and since it is collaborated in a live environment it is captured and then you can take the corrective actions of either moving the beam or moving the cutout so there is all possibilities to reduce the aborty work if you concentrate on the link and then work in a collaborative manner another important aspect is control the text appearance in various ways and when you change the scale of your drawing as in cat formats you don't need to change the dimension styles for the visibility it will auto adjust and there are so many options to control your text appearance this we will see in the course and then understand all of these advantages and one more significant advantage is in controlling the drawing numbers and the storage of the drawing so to understand that let me first show you the conventional way of working in CAD formats let me first show you one of my project folders and here you can see that I have a project saved here and if you look at this project i have saved all my incoming drawings and i have saved my outgoing drawings so now on 15th i have sent a fee proposal and all that and on 12th of 2019 june i have sent all the floor layout and footing layout for the project now again if i look at 18th i have sent the p1 drawing for column footing layout and if you look at 26th i have sent p2 of the same thing so now which is my final drawing obviously this is my final drawing but then how do i know that this is my final drawing and my final revision is in inside this folder so obviously i will have to keep transmittal or a sheet list saying that the particular drawing st01 was sent on this date and the revision number was p1 and on another date the next day i have sent a p2 revision and the dated folder is so and so there is every chance that i miss to save my drawing inside this on a fine day evening or i miss to enter in the transmittal so it is chaos you are likely to miss a revision and then next time when you revise a wrong drawing can go to site so to avoid all this revit has a good feature to control revision numbers there is no chance that you will miss a revision in revit so this aspect of revit we will see in the subsequent classes.